Here's pre-calc, it's problem 10-36. Um, it gives you this expression, and then it says, set the expression equal to 10 and solve for y. So I set it equal to 10, and then I saw that I had a common denominator right here. So I um, added the numerator, and I got this. And then I thought of the 1 as x over x. And so that gave me 1 plus x over x. And then I mult I want to get rid of the denominators. So that's not there yet. And I'm so I multiply both sides by x times y. And these will both cancel out. And this gives me 10xy over here. And then I saw that I could just have um, the y by itself if I divide both sides by 10, so or 10x, so I did. And I get this. And so you're wondering, where did this come from? It's because the difference of squares, like a squared minus b squared equals uh, a plus b times a minus b. So this is a little pattern. That's just, I didn't write the little squared part on one because one squared is one. And then letter B says, set the expression equal to zero and solve the equation. So now I just did the same thing, but I set it equal to zero. And then I remembered, well, I might as well just use this part because I did all that hard work up there. I might as well just set this equal to zero. So I set this part, because this is the same, set it equal to zero. And um, then I thought I would multiply both sides by 10x to get the fraction out of there, and zero times 10x is zero. And then here I um, added the x squared on both sides, and I took square roots. But remember, when you take a square root of a variable, you have to have that plus or minus. And so the square root of 1 is 1, so I've got x is plus or minus 1. And then for letter C, it wants me to rewrite the expression as a single fraction in simplified form. Well, right here we already have a, oh, sorry. Right here we already have that common denominator, so that's where the 1 minus x comes from. Here, if you think of 1 as x over x, you'll have 1 plus x over x. And then when I multiply them together, the bottom part becomes xy. And the top, since it's 1 minus x and 1 plus times 1 plus x, it follows this pattern of differences squared. So you can rewrite it as, uh, I didn't have to put the parentheses, as 1 minus x squared. Okay. 